Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment from Beverly A. Quinn on my survival candle video on my other site. And she said, yep, my kids made these at church. I've been hearing about Vaseline and lard. Putting a candle in the middle of a container of those. Any thoughts? Tried it. Uh, she reminded me that I've had a lot of people asking me what my thoughts were on the Crisco emergency candle. And I just never got around to doing it, but I thought maybe today I better do it. So, for those of you that might not be familiar with the Crisco emergency candle, it's a really simple candle to make. All you need is a can of Crisco, which is shortening, Crisco shortening. And, I don't know, probably any other kind of shortening would work too. Then you need to stick some sort of a wick in here. Either a cotton rope or like a uh, wick that you might use on candles. Even a, a piece of paper rolled up and stuck in there would probably work. Um, I've seen where people have said that they've made these emergency candles and that they last for 30 to 40 days or through a you know it's big now the uh, zombie apocalypses that it'll last through that but I think they probably use the larger the 48 ounce can this is just a 16 ounce tub as far as my thoughts on it I guess the stuff should work because way back I don't know in the early 1900s or something I forget the date this stuff was originally made by Procter & Gamble out of hydrogenated cottonseed oil. They were looking for a cheap replacement for lard and tallow in their candle making business and they came across this stuff. Then when electric lights kind of knocked the business out of their candle jobs, they looked around for something else that they could use this stuff for. And because it looked like lard, they thought, hey, why not? sell it for shortening and thus I think is one of our first fake foods that have ever been created I'm not knocking it but you know uh, even the name Crisco is a close an uh, acronym for crystallized cottonseed oil they changed the Y to an S and went from there now the original Crisco being made of cottonseed oil had this uh, little prop, this pesky problem that it was full of trans fats. And as you know, trans fats aren't good for us. So we're told. But uh, in 2007, from what I found, Crisco, Crisco changed the formula for this. And now they use all different ingredients. Soybean oil, fully hydrogenated palm oil. Partially hydrogenated palm and soybean oils, blah, blah, blah. I'll leave a list down below of all of the ingredients. But, uh, I don't know. I guess my first problem with the Crisco emergency candle is how many people have a can of Crisco in their house versus having candles and flashlights. In my case, I had to go and buy a can of Crisco so that I could do this video. Next, uh, my, my next problem is I'm not sure that anybody that needs an emergency candle that will last for 30 to 40 days, if you don't have power for that long and you got to depend on a candle made out of shortening, you're in trouble. <laughs> Real trouble. Uh, another problem that I have with it, like I said, they just take a can or a tub, I shouldn't say can, they take a tub of Crisco, just stick a wick in it and let it burn. Now, the thing is, this isn't a can. It's only cardboard with a foil lining on the inside. So, if this is burning for any length of time and it gets down and it starts getting hot and you have liquid Crisco coming across here, it will soak into the cardboard and then the whole thing could go up in flames. The container itself has some uh, no-nos on it. One of them, it says, warning, shortening will catch fire if overheated. Damage or serious burns may result. Do not refill the can. Now, they use can, but do not refill the can with hot shortening. So 
So they themselves are saying that this container will not necessarily work, keep its integrity, if the shortening gets into the liquid state. But uh, I'll take care of that a little bit later. Also, if you're burning it in the can, like in the tub like this, being cardboard and foil, the light's not going to come out. So as this goes down, all you're going to get is like light coming up through the top. Not necessarily a good thing. Now what I did was I came up with my version of it. I took some of the Crisco and I put it in a tea light glass. These are tempered glass that are made to take heat somewhat. You can pick them up. I pick them up at Goodwill for less than 40 cents or less than 50 cents. You can even get them with a candle in it and the price is 47 cents. So I would use something like this or you could use a tuna fish can or something like that. Put it in a can. Now of course you get the same problem that as it goes down the light's not going to come through. It's going to come up but at least it would be something that you wouldn't have problems with the liquid Crisco in it. For my candle, to make my candle, like I said, I put some Crisco in, in the uh, jar, I'm trying to speed this up here, and I'm just going to use birthday candles as a wick. A lot of people have these, especially if they have kids. So all you do is you end up just sticking it right down the middle, like so, get it even with the top. So there you've got your wick. Now, people keep saying that this, the big container will last 30 to 45 days. I'm not so sure about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this one and I'm going to let it burn for two hours or so while I make another video. And then I'm going to weigh and see how much of the Crisco was actually used up during that time period. And then we can get an idea of how long a small tub or a big tub will last. So all we do with this just light the candle like so and what I'll do is I'll cut the video here the time is okay I'll be back in two hours for my time not your time but I'll be back and we'll see how much of this is consumed during that time period so catch you in a bit okay we're back this Crisco emergency candle has been burning for three hours now I took a weight on it. Um, the weight when it started was 190 grams. It's now 183.7 grams. So that means in three hours, 6.3 grams were used. So if you divide 6.3 by 3, you get 2.1 grams per hour. So if we take that into the large tub, now this is just a small tub, the 16 ounce. But if we take that into the 48 ounce tub, that comes out to, if it's all totally consumed, which it wouldn't work because being a flat tub, this would give up long before all of the uh, Crisco was gone. But in theory, it should last about 26.9 days. I guess that's close to the 30 days that some people said, but uh, I don't know. The, really, the real thing I was surprised with, now remember, this was made by sticking a birthday candle into the Crisco, and it's got a pathetic flame. Let me see if I can show it to you here. I'm not sure if this will show up on the camera, but you can barely, I can see my hand, but that's about it. The flame is pathetic. Now, I guess you could put as many of the candles in there as you wanted for more flames of course the the Crisco would be used up even faster but uh, not much in the way of light now what I did was I stuck another wick in here it's kinda tall I wanted to stick down in but I can't get it down in there but let's see what happens if I can get this larger wick lit Come on. Let me try this. My little blowtorch. This is kind of cheating, but... Now there's a, a bit bigger of a flame. 
let's see what happens when I turn the light out now. That's a little bit bigger. Of course, it should be deeper into the Crisco, but see, now you can see my hand that you couldn't see before. That's going to be a flame. So I guess it looks like maybe the birthday candle is just too small. Should use some other kind of a large wick. The larger the wick, though, the faster that the shortening will be used. Again, I guess if I had nothing else in the house and I happen to have a, a tub of Crisco, this might be the way to go. But I've got lots of candles, lots of alcohol, lots of flashlights. This would have to be at the very end. So, I don't know. It's a novelty. So I hope that helps those that asked me for this. I thank them for their input. I thank, I'm sorry, Beverly A. Quinn for her original comment that reminded me about all, everybody asking me about this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.